Frank Sanchez against Julian Fernandez here in San Antonio. Let's go to the tail of the tape. Sanchez, former Cuban amateur star, is 12-0 with 12 knockouts. He's 28 years old. Fernandez is 27. Both are six foot four, but a big weight advantage for Sanchez. Julian Fernandez comes in. Sergio Mora, you're expecting fireworks early. Yes, I am. That right hand there grazing from Sanchez. Frenetic energy and a good combination from Sanchez. You can see the, the full 230 pounds of weight of Sanchez bearing down on Fernandez. You know, I don't mean to disparage Fernandez, but I watched that Tom Schwartz fight, and Schwartz didn't just knock him out. He hurt him with every punch in those two rounds, and we saw how Schwartz performed at the higher level against Tyson Fury. It's uphill sledding for Fernandez tonight. Hard right hand from Sanchez. I got you, I got you, I got you. Again, he's got a uh, lively opponent here in Fernandez. Uh, Julian is the son of Pedro Pitbull Fernandez, former MMA fighter. He's very proud of his pa. He said he was the first Mexican to fight in K1, but Julian really enjoyed boxing more than MMA, although he did kickboxing and he did MMA as well. There we go. Right. He said he was just using boxing anyway, Sergio, so he thought, let me just box. I'll just do what I like. I like to strike. Yeah, I first noticed that his nickname was Pitbull Jr. I'm like, what? wait a minute, if you're a Pitbull and you're Jr. there, but then I, I, uh, I found out and read up on his father. Nice body shot yeah, there. That's a hard right shot and follows it up with another one. Another right hand to the yeah, body. Yeah. Upshot from Sanchez. That's a big weapon as we near the final 30 seconds. Fernandez on his bike. Long right hand. From, oh, Sanchez with the hard okay. body right. shot again. The reason, the reason we said that Fernandez, uh, you know, might not last is because he's coming off the longest layoff. He got, you know, his losses are, are, are took by knockout, and he only got one month notice for this fight. So it's all a nice recipe for, for disaster there, but he got out of the first round, and he's boxing nicely on his feet. Right hand missed by Sanchez. Stalking mode, missed with the hook. Body shot that land. Hey. Hard rights to the body all throughout round number one, but Fernandez survives. And here Frank Sanchez goes to work, and you can see the menace on his shots. I just think Chris Mannix, as, we, as he goes along, obviously he needs more seasoning uh, against top competition, but Sanchez has the goods. The only issue is the champions are 6-7 and 6-9. <laughs> Those are the top guys, and Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. That's a big hook lands for Sanchez. Fernandez on wobbly legs, missed with the right, mauls him back right. into the corner. Right. Ah. Right. Fernandez is trying to survive. There it is. We're one shot away, grazing right hand, right hand over the top. In survival mode is Fernandez. Hook is cuffing him, he's moving his head just out of danger. Right. Barely right. escaping right. a knockout right. here in round two. Sanchez is looping his shots, he should, he should throw straight right, straight left hands. One, two, simple one, two, but straight down the line. Sanchez moves in for the kill. Right hand, again, cupping right hands consistently. Now he comes up the middle. Fernandez is able to move his head and survive. Yeah, Fernandez is blocking the shots nicely. I mean, his elbows are a little bit too open. That's the reason he's getting hit with his body shots. But those winging, those winging punches aren't going to land for, for Sanchez. So he needs to get lethal behind that jab. Straight laser one, two. You know, if Sanchez just creates a little space, he can finish him off there. That's one of the weaknesses I'm seeing in him early on. Just not getting that distance. If he gets that distance, he'll land something big. Frank, I got you. And Frank Sanchez. Now, you'd want to see him, Chris, I guess, be more precise because at this point, this is an opponent you should be able to get out of there if you're going to be challenging the likes of Michael Hunter in the top ten. Well, he is just winging punches at Fernandez. You can understand that. Fernandez, smaller fighter, has shown a susceptible chin in the past, but you're right. You wing punches like that, you expose yourself, and better fighters will take advantage of it. His last fight, again, November 7th, against Brian Howard, he had three knockdowns and then threw like just two right hands in the final minute that were devastating and had a TKO in the fourth, and he just looked exceptional. Last night on the Golovkin card with Ali Akhmedov, a prospect, performed extremely well in the early stages of that fight. Then the second half came, he ran out of ideas, he ran out of gas, and he got knocked out. Fernandez has shown the power to stop you, so if Frank Sanchez doesn't get busy, he could be in trouble. Uh, I, you know, I would just disagree, and Sergio win on this uh, against Kubrat Kulab. I'm not disagreeing with what you said. I think you're right. Uh, but 
against Kubrat Pulov, who's the number 10. There's a hard right hand by Sanchez. I think Sanchez would do very well in that fight. Hunter is a very good boxer. Fernandez says, bring it on. Showing the toughness. Well, Frank, let's see it. A pitched battle. I mean, it's great to see Mexican heavyweights, but I think we're seeing another version of Mexican Rocky here with Julian Fernandez. What a chin. It's like a scene out of Rocky three with Mr. Brown. Muy bueno, muy bueno. Ain't so bad. That was interesting. Sanchez stayed composed. I don't know if that's good or not. I think eventually, good hard right hand by Sanchez. Fernandez backs up. I think William White's a bridge too far too right now for Sanchez. I tell you, you see him uh, go back, and there is that Rocky-esque look to Fernandez. <laughs> You're absolutely right. And Chris, I blame you. You planted that in my head. Yeah, it's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> Including the blood. That's not movie blood. That's real blood on Fernandez's face. Right hand lands, and then a left cross. Called that Tobacco fight, and, and that's where he was criticized a little bit. I was asking Phoenix Lewis at the time, do you want to see him put the foot on the gas? You know, I'm not, I'm put up because he was winning so easily. This fight's different. This is just a, I don't know, it's a, more of a street fight. You know, it's nasty. Yeah, but here's the thing, Tobacco, you know, he has like eight losses, but he's only been stopped one time as by a former champion, yeah. Charles Martin. So no one takes out Tobacco. So, yeah, yeah, Sanchez gets a lot of criticism because the guy's still standing in front of him. Because, because so much is expected of him. Ah, That's what I want to say more. Body shots, body shots from Sanchez. Fernandez has a, a good upper body. He moves his head. He knows how to peel back away from the, the punch, take the power away from the punch. But the body's staying right in front of him. Let's go back to Steve Smoger, veteran referee who's with us tonight. Steve, your thoughts on this? And as far as it looks like Fernandez is he's not winning any rounds. Oh, that's a hard right hand. And now on the ribs and out of the ring goes Fernandez. And this fight is now over. John Shorley jumps in, and we don't need Steve Smoger. This fight's done, Steve. Yes, sir, but uh, John did an excellent job. No, he not to set him up for this punch. And the more tired that Fernandez got, the, the less legs that he had to defend against that. And, and you could tell by the way that his body reacted. He just, you know, going out of the ring like that's because your body's out, your legs are out. And good work by Sanchez, right. even though he had his man hurt and on the ropes, he knew that this fight's over. I don't need to strike this man again. Let's go to the ring and David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John Shorley calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 35 seconds of round number seven. Your winner by knockout. He's still undefeated and still the WBO and ABO heavyweight champion, Frank the Cuban player, Sanchez.